I love naan. Like, I could literally just eat naan non-stop. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we'll be recapping Winter House Season 3, Episode 4. Same name, no game. Unsurprisingly, the house is still disgusting from last night's party. Luckily, Malia and Danielle decide to clean up the kitchen. As they're cleaning up, they talk about how Jordan's upset over a kiss between Corey and Malia that did not happen. Then Malia asks about the situation between Danielle and Alex. It cuts back and forth between Danielle and Malia talking about Danielle and Alex and Schwartz and Alex talking about Danielle and Alex. Danielle is excited and they went all the way and they had a great time. And Schwartz is telling Alex how they're the perfect friends with benefits situation and he can really feel the good vibes between them. I'm sure that's not going to change at all. Kyle, being the absolute sweetheart he is, goes down to check on Jordan and brings her a cup of water and asks her how she's feeling. Jordan tells Kyle that Malia says the kiss didn't actually happen. But it seems like Jordan doesn't really believe that it didn't happen. Amanda arrives to the house, and after a tour from Kyle, she and Danielle catch up. Danielle tells Amanda that she and Alex are friends with benefits, and they're having a really good time together. The whole house decides to go UTV and horse riding, and Amanda decides to join, despite being kind of low energy from the plane ride. Amanda, Casey, Alex, Malia, Katie, and Jordan I'll go horse riding. While Kyle, Schwartz, Corey, Danielle, and Brian go on the side-by-sides. I've never heard a UTV called a side-by-side -side before, but basically they mean like four-wheelers with cages. So like, yeah, a UTV. <laughs> Kyle then tells Corey how Casey was telling everybody that Sam is trash. And it cuts to a few clips of Casey kind of walking around being like, oh yeah, my friends told me that Sam's basic. My friends told me that Sam's trash and that she's kind of like trashy and blah 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 and just like kind of overall talking. Corey is actually upset and he decides that he wants to confront Casey at dinner. Once they return home, Brian is preparing for his party tonight, which is going to be celebrating his Indian culture, so he's passing out traditional outfits for everybody. While he cooks with Jordan, Casey, and Schwartz, anytime they ask him a question, he immediately calls his mom. So much so that they put a little Brian calls his mom counter in the bottom left corner. As everyone's getting ready, Danielle walks by Jordan's room, and she overhears Alex telling Jordan that Jordan has a big butt, and like compliments it. Up until this point, Jordan hasn't really been flirting back because she's been more focused on pursuing Corey. But after being rejected by him last night, she doesn't mind the compliments. Danielle immediately runs to Malia and Katie to complain about the situation. And Katie asks Danielle, would you be upset if Jordan and Alex hooked up? Danielle says she absolutely would because her and Alex literally woke up together that morning. Like they just slept together. It's dinner time and everybody looks absolutely amazing in their traditional Indian outfits. Except for Amanda who's not feeling very well so she decides to go to bed. The food looks fantastic, but y'all know I love Indian food. I love naan. Like, I could literally just eat naan non-stop. <laughs> As they're eating, Corey decides it's the perfect time to confront Casey about talking sh about his girl, Sam, and basically tells her, hey, stop talking sh about my girl. Casey begins to apologize, and Danielle immediately cuts her off and is like, you called Sam trash. Kyle then asks Casey if she knows Sam personally, and she says she doesn't. And she continues to say that it was really catty of her to talk about Sam, especially since she doesn't know who she is personally. And she is sorry. Corey accepts her apology, and then they all go back to having the delicious dinner. And instead of going to a bar tonight, they decide to hang out at home for the evening. As Alex is doing the dishes, he's telling Jordan that he wants to be healthier, and he wants to drink less alcohol and party less. But it's so difficult. And Jordan's like, well, you can chat with me anytime you're struggling. And Alex flat out tells her, I'm still interested in you even though I just hooked up with Danielle. Danielle starts getting jealous, and despite her best efforts to hide it, Alex picks up on it. The next day, Schwartz straight up admits that he likes Katie, but it's name prohibited. He then jokes about changing her name. Riley, another Below Deck member, arrives to the house in freaking flip-flops. Need I remind everybody that it is Colorado and there's snow everywhere, and Riley just shows up in flip-flops? Casey gives Brian a bite of her salad, and she talks about how she won't be able to find anybody to kiss her tonight because there's so much garlic in it. And he replies, well, if they like garlic, you'll be fine, and I love garlic. 
And I was thinking, oh, wow, that was actually pretty smooth, Brian. But then he followed it up with another bite. Ah! And instantly I got the ick. <laughs> They go out to dinner and Corey is telling Amanda how Sam is upset about some articles she was reading. And the articles were saying that Corey and Malia are kind of vibing. Danielle also encourages Shorts to pursue Katie. And he says it's disrespectful to his ex-wife, Katie. Danielle then says, well, she usually goes by Floody anyway, because her last name is Flood. I wish instead of that, she should have said, well, get over it. Some people are going to have the same name. It's going to be very annoying watching throughout the season as Schwartz is like, they said Katie, uh, uh, not the word Katie. Like, it's really annoying. Like, grow up. You're a grown ass man, bro. Like, people will have the same names. If it's that much of a problem, don't pursue her. You know what I mean? Malia also walks Shorts through making a move on Katie and tells him to just pull her in by the mouth and kiss her. And so he does in the car. And that is where we ended this episode of Winter House Season 3, Episode 4. What do you think about Schwartz's hang-up over Katie sharing the same name as his ex-wife, Katie? Do you think he's just being a bit dramatic, or would you also be hung up about it too? I personally wouldn't have any issues dating someone with the same name as an ex, but if I did, I wouldn't pursue them. They can't go by their nickname forever, and eventually they're going to be called their actual name. And if it's such a big problem, he shouldn't be trying to sleep with her. That's just my opinion. But let me know yours down in the comments below. Make sure to like or dislike the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys! The whole house... Dis Need I remind you guys that this is like... Minnesota or whatever?